drag. What, what got you interested in it in the first place? And wh where did it first come about in your lives? For me, I'd say I done it for an identity change to see if I could actually pull it off. It's kind of like, I guess, acting. Um, mine started six years ago. It was just something for fun, for a benefit, in Paducah. And from there, it just went on and progressed, and I became better and better at it. I started because this one drug me into it um, about a year and a half ago. Uh, when I first started, it was a hot mess. Uh, it's, it's came a long way since then. We both have competed in uh, state pageants. Um, I am thinking about going to nationals in Oklahoma City with it, but I haven't really decided. But I, I do it for the entertainment aspect. Um, because it's fun to get out in front of people and put on a good show and have a good time with them. Yes. Now, tonight you're doing a benefit concert, or benefit, a benefit show, I'm sorry. We can tell you do bands more. <laughs> <laughs> when you do it for money, um, what, is, what, is a, what is a pay scale? I don't think there's a big need for drag right now, because you can get it anywhere. It's such a hot commodity right now there's lots of shows on it like you don't have to go to a, a gay bar anymore or to a drag show to see drag anymore you can see it on tv so pay scale isn't really what you think it would be like for most entertainers if you've got a title you're looking at 75 to 100 dollars a night just a base rate just a base rate and if you're a local and you don't have titles you're just 30 dollars Plus tip. And that also gets you to get people to come out because the more tips you make, the more money you make. Um, so you have your friends come out and support you too. So you actually get to come out ahead sometimes. But like Wednesday shows, we were just doing that for half the door and we split it amongst the five girls. So that was another way of, I guess, getting people to come out for it so we could get more money. You know, Cape, it just depends. Traveling, if you're not local, you make more money. Now, we are in southern Illinois, so where do you guys travel to? Um, Cape Girardeau, Missouri, is one. I've worked in St. Louis. Uh, we both just competed in a pageant in Springfield, Illinois. Um, so, I mean... We, we've kind of been all over the tri-state area. What is the uh, the most you've ever made financially in one night? Um, two hundred bucks. About two hundred. Tip and pay all together. I'd say two hundred. Now, do you guys just stick with one persona? Um, yeah, because once that name gets out there, that's who you need to stay. Yeah. When you're fresh and new, you can change your name and change things about you, but once once you get known from competing in pageants and what have you, you don't need to be changing who you are because then people don't know, can't keep up yeah. to who they need to book. Well, we do also have a different performing persona, per se. It's Club Kid. I'll be doing a little bit of that tonight, my last number. And it's more crazy makeup, just go all out and... Just have fun with it. Do something you normally wouldn't. And what are your stage names? I am Paige Morgan. And I am Alexia Morgan.
payday oh. cover of magazine oh. and when they see me oh. 